So yeah. Um I'm booting up my PC right now. And I'm gonna attempt to downgrade my Windows 10 operating system to uh, the Windows 7 operating system. So what I will do is first of all uh, yeah, well, like that. So put in my password and um, yeah, as you can see this is Windows 10 uh, yeah and the reason why I'm downgrading is because I don't like Windows 10 Windows 10 is for me shit complete shit I mean I can't even open my Sony Vegas I can't open me GUI I can't open the Evolve client and I'm getting pissed of it so that's why I'm gonna try to um, downgrade my system to Windows 7. Um, I got a crack, crack installed on this thumb drive right here. It's a really small one. Hope you can see it. Where is it? Wait. Yeah, it's really dark in here. You can't really see it, but there you go. That was my thumb drive. So. What you want to do is reboot your system and oh shit, I have to plug in another keyboard because this one is starting up a little too late to access the BIOS. So, yeah, right now it's up. So, tap escape as soon as you hear your PC booting up, just keep on tapping escape. Keep on tapping it. Uh, and I'm a retard because I used the wrong USB. I used the one from my fucking headset. So yeah. Let's go again. After it finally starts up. And I know it's gonna be really shit quality, but I'm sorry, can't get really any better. So, yeah. I've got to use this one then. So, I'll just reboot right here. Reboot. So, yeah. Tap escape. Keep on tapping it when it's uh, rebooting. So, as soon as your screen goes black, tap that escape button. So right now I'm tapping escape. Whoops. There you go. I got the startup menu right there, as you can see. Um, so what I'm going to do is going to uh, computer setup or press F10. So I'm going to computer setup. Here you can see um file storage security I'm going over with these arrow keys right here these are the keys you have to use when you're into the BIOS so when you're here you want to go to system boot config secure boot configuration you want you will see this red giant ass box you want just want to hit accept with F10 and you want to go to secure boot as you can see the second option right there and you want to disable it and you want to go to legacy support and enable it but make sure you first do the secure boot on disable otherwise you cannot enable the legacy support and after that you just hit accept and you go to file file and you hit save changes and exit so yeah just exit out of there yes 
and then you want to go back into the startup menu by pressing escape you want to go to boot menu F9 and you will see this screen right here there you want to go to the option where it says your USB drive or you if you have a CD key or like Windows 7 installed on a CD you want to select that but for me I burned my Windows 7 onto a thumb drive I mean there are plenty of tutorials out there that explains you how to do that but I'm not gonna do that in this tutorial so right here I, you can see my USB disk 2.0 just I'll take that one because I know it's that one it's gonna launch something weird I have really no idea what I'm doing but I'll just do it you know <sighs> so right here you have to wait a little bit and then Windows 7 is there so hit next install now and then right here you want to accept the license terms next you obviously are downgrading so you don't want to upgrade but just do a custom installation well, once we are back here what we want to do is select each single one and delete them apparently so yeah I'm just going for it um, wait one second so I'm just gonna do it okay delete um, so here you got the unaccolated space that's normal you want to keep it like that so yeah just go to the next one partition one delete partition one delete partition one delete oh my god this feels so bad doing this and delete okay now you want to create a new one and hit apply hit OK and one second uh, wait I'm just gonna redo one thing I'm just first gonna for okay you can't format it okay so I'll create a new one just hit apply to ensure that all Windows features work correctly I create initial partitions for the system files. Okay. I'm just going to accept that. And then on the biggest partition you got, so for me it's partition two, it got almost one terabyte. I am going to hit next. And hopefully it will work. Because I'm gonna be pissed if it doesn't because I just deleted everything from my computer and that would suck balls so I'll be back hopefully when it's installed and yeah see you guys hopefully in a second oh yeah right here it's apparently installed till here so it's doing fine um yeah I'll take John I guess I don't know no nah, I don't know what shall I think uh, Florian the Beast the Beast because why not there you 
go. Hit next. Uh, password. I don't want actually to be honest. A password. Set up a password. Creating a password. Is smart security. Okay. Put a password. And I don't want any password, so I'll just skip that. Now for the product key. Hmm. Yeah. Um. Oh yeah. I'm sorry, I totally forgot to mention what you have to do. So, what you want to do is basically hit next and uncheck that box. I'll leave an annotation on the screen what I exactly mean, okay? Don't worry, um, I'll leave it there, but apparently it worked. And yeah, I'm really fucking happy. I'm just gonna change the screen resolution. And I cannot find internet connection, which is quite logical. And yes, I want to keep changes. And it's still looking weird to the sides here a little bit. But that is because I do not have installed my, um, what is it called? The graphics card driver. When I got that, it will be all fixed. 